I'm the Urban Raja and I love curry. In fact, we've been enjoying Indian cuisine in Britain for over 200 years. But if you think you know Indian food, think again. It's a cuisine that's been evolving for over a millennia, but I'm interested in the dishes beyond the ones we commonly know. So join me on a food adventure with Kingfisher Beer. It's a food adventure that's unstoppable. It's the real taste of India. We're going to head to the heaving metropolis that is India's capital, Delhi. The thing that I absolutely adore about food in Delhi and in cities all across India is the street food culture. And we're going to be making little puff lentil breads, also known as kachuris. It's the kind of thing that you can find on street corners all over India and particularly in Delhi. So let's get into it. Kachuris. It's the real taste of India. So to create kachuris, we're going to start off with our dough. Really straightforward. What we've got is about 300 grams of wholemeal flour, kind of thing you can buy anywhere. We're going to add to that just a little pinch of salt. Tip in roughly about 100 ml, 150 ml or so of water. And then I'm just going to add just a glug of olive oil just to make it lovely and silky. And what we just do is get our hands in that and start to make the dough. So you just want to get your hands, you get your fingers into this dough, roll it all around. And what we do is once we're happy that we've got a dough here that has got that sort of elasticity to it, like that, you should be able to pull it off like that. So we're going to set that aside for about an hour or so just to set. So while our dough is just chilling out for an hour or so, we're going to make the filling. And the filling is dead simple. What we have is a couple of hundred grams of mixed lentil and those have been pre-boiled. So I've just cooked them off, just boiled them in normal salted water for about half an hour or so. So 200 grams pre-cooked lentils going into my blender. And this is going to give us a really lovely kind of texture when you bite into the bread. It's well seasoned, it's well spiced, and this really does all the work for you in terms of flavour. Okay, little glug of some olive oil as well in there just to help the blender. And here we go. And what you're really looking for is kind of like a, a rough kind of coarse paste. That's what you're looking for because that's what's going to hold up in the pan. So we've got our smash lentil paste. We're going to be frying off this mix in the pan. Now in my pan I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil so just to emulsion that pan there. And then into that pan goes teaspoon cumin seeds, teaspoon fennel seeds, lovely aromatic aniseedy scent, teaspoon of mustard seeds, need a little bit of fire in this, teaspoon, friendly measure, chilli powder, that goes in, and also some garam masala, teaspoon garam masala. All of that, together with just a little pinch of salt, just going to flavour this pan and I can hear and smell those mustard seeds just kicking off now. So they're protesting in the pan. Now we tip in our lentil smash. I'm just going to push that around the pan. I don't want these spices to burn, so I'm just going to take it off the heat a little bit, turn the heat down a little bit as well. I'm just going to add just a touch of water as well into the pan. What you want is you want this lentil mix just to start to firm up. 
These lentils act like a sponge for all of those spices, the garam masala, the chili powder, fennel seeds, mustard seeds, cumin seeds. This is just like a flurry of spices all being absorbed, all being soaked up by these lentils. And this is what's gonna form our filling for our kachuris. So our spiced smash lentils just resting there, just cooling down. And I've just had a look at our dough. And that is the perfect consistency. That's brilliant. And what I'm gonna do, here's a little tip for you. Because we're gonna be taking like little golf sized chunks of this dough, I'm just gonna oil up, put the grease up my palms with a little bit of oil. And that way the dough Ta -da! doesn't stick to your hands. Okay, so there we go. Make a few of these. So we're just shaping these into little rounds, little balls here, and then just rolling them in the flour just to dry off the surface a little bit and it'll also give us a little bit of crispiness as well. Right, now it's time to get filling. What we do, we do the most difficult part of this process. We do this, we press down. And you've got to squish our little uh, kachori rounds into about sort of two inches in diameter. And then we're gonna take some of our cooled lentils. This is our filling. And we simply pop them in the middle. Try not to overfill them. It's tempting because this stuff tastes so good, but try not to overfill them because they'll just start to squidge out of the sides of the bread when you're frying them off. And, and that's not a good look, we don't want that. Okay, now we've spooned our lentil mixture over into the center, and this is what you need to do. Just fold up the edges all the way round so that at the top, you have this kind of little pinched parcel. And we're just gonna seal that together just so that it's closed off. So here we've got these our little kachori parcels, the little pinch top. What we do now is just flatten them just shape them a diameter of about two inches across, nicely shaped. We go and just flip them over. So we've got a little bit of flour on both sides. So we've got our kachuris all ready to slide into the pan. And into the pan, we've got a couple of centimeters of depth of um, frying oil. And the way I'm gonna test to see if my oil is hot enough is I'm throwing in some cumin seeds that we used a little bit earlier and they're fizzing away in the pan, which says to me that it's all good to go. So let's just slip these in the pan. And you wanna be frying these on each side for like sort of two to three minutes, something along those lines. You're starting to see the kachuris turn color because now they're being cooked all the way through. And you want that dough, it's really important for this dough to cook all the way through. Don't forget that the middle, the filling is already pre-cooked. So you're not so worried about that. What you wanna make sure is the dough, however, is cooked all the way through. So you're starting to see that the kachuri is changing color, it's firming up, it's crisping up, and that, that's really what we're looking for. HP sauce with these kachuris is totally off the scale. As soon as you taste the HP sauce, it's got tamarind in it, it's got molasses in it, it's got spices in it, it's totally Indian. It works, it's really, really good with these. But if you like your good old mango chutney, you can't go far wrong with that as well. Perfect, these are absolutely spot on. So what you have is this lovely kind of brown color. This is the authentic taste of the streets of India, Kachuri's puffed lentil bread. <laughs> Dude, scrap what I said, don't share. These are too good to share. I've got to tuck into these. To get your spice buds going with more tasty dishes like this, head to Kingfisher Beer UK on Facebook and urbanraja.com.